Hello, welcome to CFA Level 2. This is Nick at Quartic with 10 topics in 10 weeks. This week we're going to look at ethics. This is the beginning, the middle and the end of your studies. You know it's important. You've got through Level 1. CFA Level 1, you need to understand the seven sections and the 22 subsections. Level 2, it's the same, but in more depth. You've got 10 to 15% of your exam on this, probably not as much as 15%, but 10% represents 12 of your questions. That could be two full six-part item sets or three four-part item sets or maybe a mix, and it could be more than that as well. So you've got a lot to do within the, within the exam. Questions test the slightly fuzzy area, what is on, what's on the edge of compliance or non-compliance. So you need to know the detail. Go through the original. You've got the curriculum, you've got your online learning ecosystem. You must understand the detail. Within those seven standards and 22 sections, you've got around 200 worked examples of little scenarios. Uh, it shows you a little description of someone that's done something and it says, is this in compliance or not? And it's normally fairly obvious whether it's within or not within the rules and the reason it's obvious is because by the time you reach that you've just read through the detailed description of a couple of pages talking about that particular standard uh, and so that's the level of familiarity that you need that's what you need to spend your time on do not leave ethics till the last minute you should be reading ethics before you start studying and at the end of your studies and keep track during the studies as well just always just pick up the book uh, or have a look online and go and read some of the standards anyone who asks me for advice the day before the exam what should i do what should i do in the last day the exams tomorrow my answer is always read through the ethical standards again so there we go this is all the code of ethics and standards of professional conduct and that makes up basically your entire level two ethics curriculum uh, you have also got some case studies uh, this is very short and sweet it doesn't there's nothing new in that it's worth reading through though if you've got a good understanding of the standards then these case studies should all be reasonably straightforward quite good practice uh, but nothing there that's going to add to your exam